Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 13th. We're just going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you this week. In your current general energies, you have this real estate card. It says, any dealings in real estate will be profitable at this time. I like that. It says, uh, realtor, loan officer, appraiser, career in real estate. So obviously, if you're getting a career in real estate, this could be very good for you. I also feel like this could be talking about building a new foundation. For some reason, it, this right here says build a solid foundation. I also am looking at this right here uh, as a foundation as well. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But um, in, sorry, I'm just throwing cards all over the place. I threw the world card. So um, we'll put it to the side and we'll take it. Why not? But uh, let's see here, Scorpio. I feel like there could also be, uh, for those of you that want it, there could be love coming in for you. Uh, I think this has been showing up for like weeks that there could be a person coming in for you. I also feel for some of you that um, you have to go towards a person, which I've been feeling for you for a while. And sorry, I dropped this deck. So, you know, as always, <laughs> uh, that's why there are reversals. I don't read reversals. I read intuitively. So there you go. But, um, you know, again, Knight of Pentacles, like no movement. It's like, there's almost like, this is saying to me, this world, I, it's funny that I put it on this side. Normally I put extras on this side. Um, but it's almost saying to me that there's like guaranteed success with a person that you have your eye on, right? Could definitely be an earth sign for sure, or an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius in their chart. Could also be Leo as well, or Pisces, I suppose. Pisces is always all up in your business, right? Um, but it's like there's guaranteed success, but I feel like someone has to make a move here, which I've been saying for weeks. So, you know, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but what I would say is I feel it could be really good. I also feel like there's a new beginning that you have to get started on, but you have to stop thinking about the past <laughs> with the four of cups four, or, you know, it's like sometimes I think Knight of Pentacles four, with the four of cups in the same row like that can say that you're thinking about um, like past failures or um, things that didn't work out in the past. So especially for those of you that are working on a business or career or something that could make you money, I feel like your solution is very simple here. It just says, if you, you know, seven of wands. Seven of wands basically says, if you believe something deeply enough, you will be successful. So seven of wands is about like knowing that you know that something is going to work for you, but you have to believe it deep down in your DNA. So if you believe something will be true, it will be true. You have the Three of Pentacles here. Uh, it seems to be a really good financial week. I've noticed in the water sign readings that this week, it seems like um, there's like improvements in finances or people are just making more money. I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> but it just seems to me like there's improvements in finances for a lot of people. So, you know, I like to see that or at least the water signs. Uh, I also feel that like you could be getting recognized for your work. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Sun. Three of Pentacles represents quality work. And normally there's two people on this card that are looking at the work that the guy has done and it kind of represents recognition. So you could be getting some rewards for the work you've done. It's also a card of teamwork and you end with this card that says collaboration teamwork. So, you know, I'm a big fan of teamwork right now. And, you know, as I always say, uh, teamwork makes the dream work uh, right now you know, for the next like 20 years, at least Pluto and Aquarius, right? You know, I say it all the time. I'm going to keep saying it <laughs> as well. Sorry, not sorry. But what I would say is it's all about, you know, the collective. So anything we can do to work with other people is going to lead to a lot of success. And people always say to me, I don't like working with other people. I'm like, okay, well, the people that do are going to steamroll you. It's like, you're not going to impress me coming here being like, oh, I don't like to work with people. Good for you. Like, see how that works, right? It's like, I think people think I'm making this stuff up, but it, you know, you know, they say F around and find out. That's my new favorite saying. So F around and find out, see what happens, right? Enjoy it. You have the eight of swords here. Um, so again, I feel like some of you are a little bit in this dreamy mode, like very dreamy energy. Knight of Cups is literally the card of being dreamy. <laughs> and you have the four of cups, which can be a very kind of like contemplation and apathy, dreaming about something happening, but like needing to make it happen. So I really feel this energy of needing to make something happen, whether it's love, business, or otherwise, doesn't matter. Um, but I would get moving because there's clearly success. Um, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Seven of Wands here. Again, I think if, when you know that you know that you're going to be successful, you'll be successful. Knight of Wands does kind of represent like needing to get moving or, you know, needing to start moving in a direction of success. So, you know, I would get moving here.
With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. If you're attracting love, I feel this is definitely a person who wants to work on a team with you and who wants something serious. Uh, I mean, look at this row right here. Definitely a new person. Water sign or earth sign or both. Take it how it resonates. Could be any sign. It's a general reading. But I feel like this person wants a family. Look, Ten of Cups. Uh, so even if you don't want to have a family, it could just be a person who takes love very seriously um, or a person who's kind of like, you know, I, I also get here, by the way, that for you, you could be working on some sort of dream. The Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. So it doesn't have to be love. It could just be something in your life that you, you see as very fulfilling or something that you see that could fulfill you, like which could be like a business, um, you know, starting a new career or something or doing something big, right? Doing something that affects the world or, you know, creates a positive change in the world. And a lot of you could be doing that. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, you have the Five of Wands. Some t Here's the thing is that sometimes I think with the five wands, it kind of represents needing to get messy a little bit. It is a card of conflict and competition. And you have the eight of swords here, but you know it's clarifying the eight of swords, which is like only seeing one way of doing things when there are many ways to do things. Five of wands, I frequently call this card Indiana Jones because to me, it's kind of like a card of going on some sort of crazy adventure to... Um, you know, to basically find some treasure in life. So I feel like this is kind of encouraging an adventure or doing something new with your life. Uh, next, you have this um, card in the area of the unexpected. You have this card that says, be patient, trust the weight, everything is coming together. So, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest, I feel like things are happening for you. I do get something about timing here where it's like maybe you feel like things haven't happened as quickly as they do for other people. You know, this could be anything. It's like maybe you feel like love hasn't come as quickly as it has for other people. Or maybe you feel like you don't get as much love as other people. Same thing in business as well. It's like maybe you feel like um, you don't get raises when you deserve them. Maybe you feel like you don't, um, your business doesn't find success as quickly as other people. It's like those are all, I'm getting tons of those types of things, right? But the thing is, is I feel like you're being rewarded with this magician. You have the magician, the knight of cups, and the five of cups. I feel like you've attracted something into your life. And it's part of a dream is what I'm getting here with the knight of cups. Knight of cups is like a knight in shining armor. So I do feel like there could be a knight in shining armor coming in for some of you, obviously. But this could also be, you know, again, something very dreamy, something that you've been dreaming of happening uh, in your life. Like, you know, again, starting a business, maybe you've been hoping to move or do something else in your life. What I would say is that going this way to the four of cups, the four of cups really says that there are probably some things you need to do to make this happen. You know, I always say that the four of cups, it's like he's normally on a traditional four of cups disappointed because he's trying to manifest things into his life. But, um, you know, it's like he's not manifesting them. It's like if you try to manifest a cake, he's manifesting the flour, the sugar, the eggs, you know, he's manifesting the ingredients. So I really feel as a saying like, what you want is here, but you have to mix everything together. Uh, this could be through taking action. Uh, it could literally be through mixing things together. Um, it could be through starting your business, like getting started, the act of getting started. But there needs to be some movement here. Again, you have the magician. The magician also is my card of needing to get started. Sometimes I think in readings where I have the magician to the high priestess, which you have in this reading, that it kind of can represent a delayed start or a false start. So some of you, I feel especially if you have had a false start in business or work or career, that there's like a new start, a fresh start coming in. And I feel this is really encouraging you to kind of push forward because again, you, you could be like a little bit nervous or you could be not sure what to do because of what happened last time. That's what I'm getting. So especially in work or career, you could be judging a, a new situation based off of past failure or something. And I feel like this is saying like, no, don't do that. Keep moving forward. You're going in the right direction. Good things are about to happen. You have the five of cups here. Again, five of cups can represent some sort of disappointment. So I do feel you need to kind of like let go of past disappointments, number one. Um, you know, the solution to the five of cups is to be grateful for what you do have. But I also feel that there is like a lot to look forward to. That's really what this reading is saying to me. It's like saying you could be like worrying about past things, you know, anything, but there's actually like so much good stuff coming in for you to be grateful for. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, uh, sorry, the um, Magician, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Love it. <laughs> you know, the Ace of Pentacles is something you can invest your energy into 
that is successful, it doesn't even want to focus, that is successful for a long period of time. I always say that this card is kind of like a garden. You know, it's like a card of having a garden in your life that, but a garden is something you have to nurture into existence. So I feel like you're getting something um, that you have to nurture into existence. Could be like a relationship you have to take care of or like a business or whatever, but it's like what you want. So I, I see this as very successful. With the Knight of Cups, you have the Six of Cups. Uh, Six of Cups is like fortune after difficulty, uh, good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. So I do feel like there could be some big improvements coming in for you here with the Six of Cups. It, you know, it's like a, um, you know, Six of Cups to me can represent a gift from the universe. And usually the gift we receive from the Six of Cups is a turnaround, meaning we've been bumping up against an obstacle and we get the Six of Cups, the kind of like the obstacle is removed from our life. We still have to take action, but it just says that if you try something again, it's going to work. I don't think this is a past love returning. I feel, if anything, it's new love. And for most of you, it's probably not even love. I feel this is like something that you want to work towards or create that is your happily ever after. With the Five of Cups, you have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you have to get out of your head you know, it's like you could be in five of cups, five of pentacles mode right now. And I'm not saying that it's not true, right? Like I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you, you aren't experiencing like lack or I'm, I'm not suggesting that you aren't experiencing um, loss or any of those things. But, you know, I, I do kind of feel this reading is a little bit saying a little bit of tough love here. <laughs> I feel like it's saying, okay, it's like you, you had your pity party. Now it's time to start focusing on something new right here, Page of Pentacles. And it's time for you to change the cycle. We literally see right here, you have this old woman card. It says sadness female on it. And you have this moon card that says cycles and change. So I feel like there's some sort of change coming in for you. But, you know, I really feel that Four of Cups is kind of encouraging you to mix some ingredients together so that you can be, you know, more successful so that you can you know, get the things you want. You have the Four of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. I do feel there needs to be communication. Again, if you're interested in a person, I would just go for it, Scorpio, um, you know, because I've been getting this for you for weeks, that you could be interested in a person. You know, they. I always say Pi that it could be a Pisces, but I'm wondering if it's just a mysterious person. Like, I'm wondering if you just don't know you know, you, maybe you can't read this person. Cause again, I, I really am being led more towards like earth or Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo, because you have that world card. It could be another fixed sign. And that could be part of the confusion going on here. You have the sun, which would be Leo. So in, you know, what I would say is that I would just take the risk to communicate for some of you, if you don't want love, and even if you do, I feel like this is, again, it's encouraging like movement for whatever reason. Page of Pentacles is a card of studiousness. So you might be in this place of feeling lack with the two fives here, but the Five of Pentacles kind of says like, maybe the first step of getting out of this energy of lack is to start learning about a new direction. You know, getting a new business, uh, getting a new career, starting a new job. Um, maybe you're just starting over in life in general for some of you. I feel like it's just saying, like, just start to get the energy moving because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what happens. You have the High Priestess. It's like, you know, there's some sort of mystery that I feel like you have to look into. Uh, there have been, there's been this like energy of, you know, I always call it um, like Page of Swords energy. Page of Swords, he's really kind of like the detective of the tarot. He really, really looks into mysteries. And I kind of feel if there's anything mysterious in your life, I would look into it. You also have the Four of Cups here. So I feel like you've experienced a lot of disappointments. I really feel like something is going to surprise you. And I don't mean this in like a clickbaity way. I just think that if you're attracting new love, for example, I think you're just going to be surprised at how well it works. Like maybe it's a type of love that you didn't think exists, right? Same thing with a career. It might not be like mind-blowingly amazing, but I think it's like just better than expected. And I kind of get that energy here where it's like something, it's like time for you to not be disappointed <laughs> is what this reading is saying to me. It's like time for you to enjoy life. Uh, with the four of cups, here you go. You have the high priestess. You know, again, I would be mixing things together. Again, it might be a mystery to you. You might be saying like, oh, I've been trying to start this business. And I, but what do I mix together? What do I do? Again, I would just start learning about what to do. Then all the answers are going to come. With the page of pentacles, you have the star. Yes, wish fulfillment for sure coming in for you. I mean, 10 of cups, six of cups. 
You have the Ace of Cups here, the star. This is major fulfillment. So, you know, to me, for a lot of you, I feel that there's some sort of fulfillment coming in for you this week, or you could be feeling much more fulfilled, like in work and business, you know, take it how it resonates, doesn't matter. Um, also, by the way, this is fame and fortune right here. I think this happens to you all the time. You get the sun and the star. Some of you could be becoming uh, famous. <laughs> Maybe you're not becoming famous, but I always say that these are amazing cards for getting a raise, getting a promotion. You know, it could be fame and fortune in the sense that you're getting like a lot of attention. And um, sorry, I'm waiting for someone to show up here. So sorry, I apologize, but I just have to look at my camera real quick. But anyway, what I would say here, is that you could be getting a lot of positive attention uh, with the sun and the star. And, you know, that's kind of like what I see here. Uh, with the moon card, you have the 10, or sorry, the high priestess, you have the 10 of pentacles. I feel like the 10 of pentacles is talking about um, a lot of success and abundance coming in for you. So I really feel like they're, you know, and again, I love readings with the um, 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups. To me, this is like very significant fortune after difficulty energy. To me, there's like a major improvement that could be coming into your life, but I feel like you have to explore the mystery with the high priestess. Sometimes we just don't know what's on the other side. This could be, you don't know what's on the other side of a sacrifice as well. It's kind of popping into my head. High priestess, she normally has these uh, pomegranates on the tapestry behind her. Pomegranates are the fruit of the underworld. And sometimes we have to make a sacrifice to see what's on the other side of the tapestry that's behind the high priestess. It's not like a sacrifice like you think. You know, it's like you know, maybe you have a job that sucks and you, you the sacrifice is you leave and get something else. Um, maybe you have to make the sacrifice of your independence and enter into a relationship, right? It's like, that's the what we're talking about here. And I do kind of get that energy as well. There is something popping into my head here, Scorpio, where I kind of get this feeling that saying like, maybe you're looking at something and you're saying, oh, I have to commit to this forever. And I feel like this is more saying, remember what I said, F around and find out. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. I feel like this is saying like, no, you don't, you you know, if you uh, want to get into a relationship, you just like don't enter into it thinking oh, like, oh, this has to be forever. And I'm not saying it's not going to be. But what I am saying is like, there's something here about like just needing to kind of see how something turns out, right? And maybe there is a lack of clarity. Maybe there are some mysteries, but I don't necessarily think this has to be a bad thing. Uh, next, you have this Portuguese Man of War card. It says collaboration and teamwork. Again, I'm a big fan of teamwork right now. And again, if you're not doing it, you're crazy. Like I said, I don't care about your teamwork sob stories. I really just don't care, right? And I've offended a million people saying this, but also it's like, I, I, like okay, like don't come crying to me when you're not successful over the next 20 years because like it just is what it is. I'm not gonna like try to be like, oh, it's okay, you can be independent and not get help from anyone and not ask anyone for help. That's perfectly fine because it's not. And you know, like I said, I, I, I've offended people saying this, but I'm gonna keep doing it because uh, get over yourself. That's what I would say. If I, if I offended you, for everybody else that's smart, that uh, is perfectly willing to work together with other people, well, you're gonna be ridiculously successful. Everything that shows up here is meant to be positive no matter what because this is the area of the good stuff. So you have these seven of wands, the 10 of cups and the sun card. Uh, 10 of cups is fortune after difficulty, happiness, good things coming in for you. If you want love, clearly, <laughs> I mean, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups is amazing for love. 10 of pentacles is the best love card in the deck. You know, I, you know, yes, it is a pentacle card, but it is like building and leaving a legacy it is everything you want in a love connection. So, you know, again, I get this resistance to love for some of you. It's not true for all of you, obviously, but for some of you, it's like you might be res like kind of a little bit resistance resistant, but I'm telling you, if you open up to a person, I think it's gonna be a very happy connection. You know, it's gonna lead to a lot of happiness, abundance, probably things that you didn't even expect. And again, I'm not trying to be mysterious here. I'm just saying like, maybe you just didn't think this type of love still existed, and but it does. So I feel like you could be attracting like a really good person here. Uh, for those of you that don't want love, and even if you do, it looks to me like you are working on your happily ever after. And again, I feel like you are going to be successful. I think that the trick throughout the whole entire reading is the seven of wands. Seven of wands, a card of commitment, it's a, and like I said, it's a card of knowing that you know that you're going to be successful. It's a card of believing something so deeply that you become successful. So, you know, I, I really feel like believing something deep down in your soul, deep down in your DNA is going to make you much more successful at this time. 
Um, so, I, you know, I, I feel this is more talking, you know, again, this is a card of conviction. It's like a card of believing something. So the more you believe, the more you achieve, right? <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Two of Cups. There you go. This is a very deep commitment. Again, if you're attracting a new person, I'm telling you right now that this is something like, I feel like not only do you want to protect it, I feel like they want to protect it. That means to me, they're not effing around, right? They're not effing around and finding out. I feel like they see the value. And so you could be attracting like a soulmate here. Um, I do feel like this could be different than what you normally go for in some way. Two of Cups are meant to be two different things. With the Ten of Wands, yes, you have the Nine of Wands. Again, this is the area of the good stuff. So I feel like you're being rewarded for your perseverance. I feel like you're being rewarded at this time for not giving up on your dream, whatever that dream is. Could be to have a family, could be to start a business, whatever. It's like you're finally starting to see the rewards here. Things are coming together. And with the sun, you have the nine of swords. Um, again, this is the area of the good stuff. So I feel like you could be ending a negative cy cycle or like coming out of a nightmare is what this says to me. Nine of swords is like a never ending nightmare. <laughs> so coming up in the good stuff, that would say that you're ending a nightmare. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're pulling five main themes now. You have this axe card. It says forces working against you. I don't really feel like there are forces working against you or anything like that, but I would say we still have Mars and Gemini. So, you know, this is definitely something that I would pay attention to here is kind of like that, um, you know, that like Mars and Gemini energy. So I would pay attention to, like, I would just stay away from gossip and like all that other stuff. Uh, you have the scales card. It says, keep your life in balance. Yes, I feel like, you know, I, I would, I think this is talking about balanced thinking. You know, it's popping into my head more as the way that you think about things for some reason. So I would keep your head on straight and, you know, make sure you're thinking kind of like more in balance. You have this ram card. It says a stubborn, aggressive person. It's kind of funny because I feel like you could be attracting a stubborn person, but they're like stubborn in a good way. <laughs> so I actually think that could be something that stands out to you about a person that you're attracting into your life. There you go. But they're like stubborn in a good way. I feel like they just don't give up on things. You have this quill card. It says get back to basics. Yes, every single reading I do for you, I'm pretty sure you either get this card or there, there are like in all these decks, there's like a keep it simple card. And I would, you know, I think the simple answer is the right answer. You have this moon card. It says changes in your life. The whole, I mean, literally you have the, the other moon card says cycles and changes. You're going through a change right now. So um, damn, Scorpio. I like this reading. I feel like it's really good. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.